good to be back. Um, since we last talked in my last video, the podcast with my brother Bronson, we um, were talking about how we were close to 100 subscribers. We made it. We're at 100. I think it's like 111 now. So thank you guys. With that being said, lots of you who watch these videos, I think um, the analytics said 80% are not subscribed. So my videos are really cool. We talk about dope stuff. Please subscribe. It'll be worth your time, I promise. Today I thought it was perfect to talk to you guys about remote play because last week I was remote. My family took a vacation to Snowbird. Um, it's a ski and ski resort in Utah. So I actually went snowboard snowboarding for my first time too and it was really fun. But usually when you go on vacation you leave all your gaming stuff at home and you don't get to be a cool gamer. But with the cool remote play app and PlayStation 4 controller and PlayStation 5, you can still be that gamer you want to be. So it was really fun that I could still have um, the ability to game while I was on vacation and I didn't have to bring all my stuff with me. So that's what we're going to get into today. And um, I'm just going to talk about how it was and show you guys a little bit about it. Remote Play is an app you can download on your iPhone or Android. It streams exactly what you would see on your PlayStation to your phone. So I thought that was really cool that it's the exact same thing. Um, you do have to have Wi-Fi. Uh, you can't use your cellular to use it, which I thought was kind of dumb. I don't understand why Sony did that and why they haven't changed it so you can use cellular. So that's lame. You have to have pretty good Wi-Fi in order to do it. Um, I did face a few challenges with that being in the mountains. It was kind of hard to connect because the Wi-Fi wasn't as good there. So that's something I didn't like is I would love it if you could use your cell cellular for the ability to game. So what you need to do is log in to your PSN and it will be good to go and it's like having a PlayStation in your pocket. You can play games right from your iPhone. You don't have to have a controller. You can just use the touch screen. I like having the controller, but uh, you can also do that if you don't have a controller. Um, so we have a few different options here. I have my PlayStation 4 controller and PlayStation 5. I, oh, and then this cool backbone controller that we're gonna get into too. Um, my Nintendo Switch, of course. Um, I bought this cool fun clip that's super snazzy so I don't have to find something to prop my phone up on. I can just have my phone go right in it. And I like that it's really close to me. There's lots of fingerprints on my phone, don't judge me. But yeah, so I just bought this off Amazon. It's kind of cheap, but I really like that I have my phone right next to the controller. Um, so yeah, that's remote play. Um, with P PlayStation 4, you can also use uh, the PlayStation 5 controller, which I actually just found out about, so I'm really excited to use the PlayStation 5 controller because I still don't have a PlayStation 5, but it is, you, oh, sorry, there is the ability to use your PlayStation 5 controller with your PlayStation 4. So we'll get into that another time. I'm really excited to try that out though. Um, the Backbone controller. Let's get into it. The Backbone controller. So this is a controller made by Backbone. Um, I'm just gonna get into looks of it first, cause you know I'm all about the looks. Um, so as you saw me just barely, it extends out like this. It has this spring function. Uh, it works for iPhone 6S and up. So of course I love my Apple products. So there's another reason why you should have an iPhone. It has this um, lightning connector here for the iPhone. Um, it does not charge your phone. The power source actually comes from your phone. But if you do want to charge it, there is a port right here that you can charge while you're playing or you don't have to have it plugged in. But I did think that was cool and the placement of where it's at doesn't really get in the way when you're holding it too. So there's 
that um, port right there, and then there's a headphone jack that you can have your headset on while you're gaming, which is really cool that they added that onto this controller because you can really be in the zone of your game and other people don't have to hear your game too. So uh, yeah, those are those side or bottom buttons. Then looking at these ones, these three dots, uh, crap, I forgot what the three dots are. Wow. I forgot. <laughs> I just read it. Okay. So the three dots right here are to unmute and mute your mic while you're in gameplay. And then this frame is your capture button or you can do a screenshot with that button too. The orange one acts like your PlayStation button right here. Um, that's how you can get to like your friend requests or invitations for games. And then the three lines are to uh, start your games up. So those are the, the functions of those buttons down there. Uh, these buttons, the Y, X, A, B, I really like the feel of these buttons. They um, feel really good on for your fingers as well as the D-pad. The analog sticks are a lot smaller than other analog sticks, but I actually am not too mad about it because I have small fingers, small thumbs. So I kind of liked it that it was different, but they definitely could have made them a little bit bigger. So mm, I like it, but I could see why people probably wouldn't like that. The L1, R1, and the uh, trigger buttons right here, these have like a really light touch to them. They're different from these buttons here. They, like you barely have to hit them. So it's, it's kind of hard to tell if you actually press the buttons, but um, I kind of like the feel of them, but they definitely have a light touch. So yeah, that's Backbone with this, the cool spring. I love doing this. I probably shouldn't, I might break it, but uh, oh, I did want to mention that it's super, super light too, which is nice because you add your phone onto it. And so that makes it a little bit heavier. So I thought it was really nice that it is light and it's plastic too. As I said, with the spring, it goes with all of those iPhone sizes. So, oh, I'm calling people. Oh, embarrassing because of the smudginess. But this is how it looks. It's plugged in. Unlock the phone to use it. Cool. I don't know about you guys, but this backbone controller is really giving me Nintendo Switch vibes. So pulling the Nintendo Switch out of the dock, they actually are like the exact same size and length. Um, obviously, depending on which phone you have, the screen sizes will vary. Um, so the length will also vary. But, so if you have your iPhone 12 Max, it's going to be a lot heavier in your hand, your controller is, and the screen's going to be bigger. If you have an iPhone mini, obviously the screen's going to be smaller. I absolutely think, I will always say that I love my iPhone 12, but I like the iPhone 12 in the backbone controller. I think the screen size is perfect for it. Holy crap, I got tons of fingerprints on it. Um, Weight-wise, the Nintendo Switch is a lot heavier than this Backbone um, controller, so I really, really do like that this is so lightweight. Easier to hold in your hand and you, your arms don't get so tired. Um, so the Nintendo Switch was made for on-the-go. PlayStation 4 was obviously, or any PlayStation was not made for on-the-go. It's big, it's bulky, you're not gonna lug it around everywhere, you have to have a TV. So I thought it was really cool that Backbone made this controller that you can connect to your PlayStation and you can game on the go. The Backbone controller can be used for other games, not just on the PlayStation. So if you want to look like a super cool gamer and have your controller out, you can play other games, any other iPhone games, um, as well with your PlayStation controllers. You can do the same thing. Uh, so the Backbone controller is really cool to have. It's just convenient. If someone's using your TV that's connected with your PlayStation, you can still game. Or if you are on the go, you can still game. Uh, if you are really always remote, I would recommend getting the Nintendo Switch. But 
the convenience of just having the backbone controller is great. Um, yeah, the backbone controller. I love this new thing. I think it's great. I have had it for three weeks and I have been really enjoying it. Remote play. So yeah, that's a little bit about remote play. Um, that you can be a cool gamer while you are away still. I had a really good time last week still being myself and being a gamer while I was remote. Um, so everyone should get a backbone controller. Get, oh, I love this clip thing. You guys have your PlayStation 4 controllers, so download remote play so you can be remote and play. And I'm really excited for the new software update so I can play with my PlayStation 5 controller because we still need that PlayStation 5, but I really am excited that I can play with the controller at least. I am so grateful for you guys and I'm so ecstatic that I have 100 subscribers, so thank you guys. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe and like, comment, and thank you guys so much for tuning in.